Hi guys, welcome to the second tutorial of the pipe modeling. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fix the UV of the pipe to make sure there's no distortion when you are applying material or whatever to it. Okay, so assuming that you have completed up to this step, the final, the pipe mesh final, and converted it to mesh so this is a mesh and first of all you are going to add the uv checker by going into uv editing and then you hit new for me i use a 2048 pixels and then you name it as uv underscore checker it is actually up to you you can name it anything and then for this generator type, make sure you hit you selected this UV grid then hit OK once this is done and then you select this uh, pipe ok let's hide this ok so this pipe is selected and then you go to material hit new and under this uh, base color, you select this, select image texture, and then open up this UV checker. Okay, so it is not displaying because you are in solid mode, so you have to go to material mode, uh, material shading. You can see the UV. Okay, so you can see that there's a uh, some distortion here. Okay, so what you can do is to you select everything. Uh, okay, make sure that this is selection. The UV sync selection is selected. I mean, it's activated, so that. Whatever you select here, it will also be selected over here. So you select everything and scale it and hit X to lock into X axis and then just scale it to make sure that they look squarish. Okay, okay just uh, make sure one of the sides look, I mean one of the face looks squarish. So I will focus on this face, for example. Just scale it. So now it looks uh, pretty much square. Then you um, make this an active selection. So you have to make sure this is a face selection. Okay, by pressing this, you can also press uh, three on your keyboard one is uh, this and this is two three so make sure it is face selection and your whole shift and then click here so this is deselected okay so you have to click it again and it shows like white i mean kind, kind of like a white line i mean white color whitish color <laughs> and then let's see Hover your mouse on the left, and then you press U, follow active quads, and length average. Okay. So yeah, that's basically how you can fix the UV. Oh, so I noticed that the you actually f fix one of the pipe only, and you have to do it for the other pipes. Okay, so just now I've uh, just fixed this uh, pipe. I think you need to fix them individually. So select all for this pipe and uh, do the same process. Make sure that one side looks squarish. Okay. I 
think this looks good so you just uh, make this act as active selection see and then hold your mouse on the left hit U and then follow active quads length and range so they looks good now and then you just repeat the start for the other pipes see select all this make sure one side looks squarish so this one looks pretty good select this and then you follow active quad once you have clicked follow active quad you can even fine tune the density of the I mean the UV density you can still scale it here like this right? fixing it fixing it all together but the most important part is to click follow active quad so you just select everything here and then actually you can also do the do it like this in a reverse step so you select this and you do follow active quads so they are all distorted right but at least they are all distorted in the same way and you can you can uh, just scale them all together okay so it looks good have I adjusted all the pipes? I think yeah yeah that's pretty much about it so go to material preview go closer yeah it looks good This is important, I mean fixing the UV, um, making sure that it, it is not in, distorted is important so that when you are applying materials to your model, it won't look ugly and distorted. Okay, thank you for watching guys.